Hi, and in this video, we're going to connect Hasura Cloud to CockroachDB. CockroachDB is a Postgres compatible distributed database solution that is very robust and allows for a lot of great features for those that have users all around the world. Now there's going to be a couple of small steps we need to pay attention to to connect these two together. So without any further ado, let's get right at it. I'm going to go ahead and notice that I have uh, multi-regions set up in this demo. I've got one in Australia, I've got one in Europe, and I've got one in US West. And I'm going to use this as a hint for myself of where I want to set up one of my Hasura points of presence. I'm going to be using the Europe standpoint here since I'm nearby in Frankfurt. And I'm going to go ahead and use that as my guide to scroll down here and select uh, Frankfurt for where I want to set up my project. Now, Hasura Cloud is going to go ahead and provision that instance for me, and it's going to give me my IP address here, and that's what I'm going to need to provide over to Cockroach to let it know we can connect these two together. Heading over into my actual cluster here then, we're going to set up our networking tab to allow us to actually connect this into our system. I should be prompted by following the connect guide here as well. It's going to notice that I have a few pieces that I have to set up first. So let's go ahead and create an authorized network. I'm going to go ahead and click on authorize the network. And this is going to allow me to now add a network. In this case, I'm going to call this the Hasura network. And I'm going to go ahead and provide in a custom endpoint, which is going to be right. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it that this is allowed to access the actual DB for accessing the databases. And I'm going to let mine access the uh, monitor as well. Go ahead and hit apply. And now we are going to reboot this cluster. So we're going to have just a rolling release here. And we should be good to go from the IP allow list. From there, let's go ahead and see what our next prompting is for connect. We should be missing a user, which we'll have to uh, create. Let's go ahead and create a SQL user. I'm going to go ahead and just call mine has, generate and save the password. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, copy that password for my own benefits. So closing that, we are now getting very close to being able to connect our actual system together. So let's go ahead and actually look at this connect tab one more time. And we should see that we have everything created. We want to connect to that Europe West region. And we're going to go ahead and use the default uh, DB. We'll hit next. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and choose that I want to use the connection string approach to connecting to uh, CockroachDB. And I have to do two steps here. First, I need to download the CA certificate, which I'll be using to uh, connect into CockroachDB from the Hasura Cloud side. And then I have my actual connection string. So I'm going to copy this command first and I'm going to move over into my terminal. So I've got my certificate now downloaded and persisted to a file. I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this connection string, which will take us back over to the Hasura land now. Now, before we hop into our environment to connect the actual database, we're going to set up two environment variables that allow us to connect this data together. I'm going to go ahead and create my first one, and this is going to be called my root cert. And inside of the root cert, I'm going to paste in the contents of that certificate that I created. And in my second environment variable, I'm going to go ahead and create a connection string for actually connecting to the uh, CockroachDB environment. So here I've now pasted the connection string that I copied from CockroachDB. What's going to be important here is that I actually remove some of this end uh, bit here. I will be providing the root cert myself. I will also be uh, providing this verify full for the SSL mode. So I'm going to delete everything after the default database and I'm going to go ahead and hit update. And with that, we can head over to our console once we've rebooted our instance here and be able to connect our cockroach DB. Let's go ahead and run that now inside the console. And we're going to go to the data tab. I'm going to go ahead and name this default. I'm going to now switch to a cockroach DB driver. This is just for some specifics with connecting to the cockroach environment. Cockroach is Postgres compatible and it is a it is a Postgres wire protocol connection string, but we've got a couple of uh, specifics in place that we've documented why we've created our own driver for this. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the environment variable here again as well. And then for the connection settings, 
we're going to go ahead and tell it on these uh, SSL certificates that for mode we're going to use full and then we're going to go ahead and use that root cert environment variable that we created here. With those all connected and in place, we should be able to go ahead and run our database connection. And we'll see that we're now connected to CockroachDB from inside of Hasura. Thanks for watching.